It's gorgeous outside and gorgeous inside. Now, guys, how's that New Year's resolution of losing weight going? Well, mine's not going well. And if you're stuck and need some new ideas, clinical holistic nutritionist Risa Gru is here to break down four popular diets that can help us push us over the edge exactly. and lose those LBs, as I like to say. Exactly. So these are all really effective weight loss programs, mm -hmm. but we're going to break it down. Okay. So Let's start with the first one. It is called? This is a paleo breakfast. So and what is paleo mean? Paleo is basically eating like caveman. So we, we have animal protein, lots of vegetables, minimum fruits and nuts and seeds, um, no grains, no grains, no beans, no sugar, no alcohol, sorry. Mm. Vodka? Yeah. No vodka, oh, okay. Sorry. And, but there is really good uh, fat. This is great for blood sugar stabilization, so great for your mom. Mm -hmm. um, have a bite. Those are quiches, and those are, have some organic spinach, some onions, some tomatoes, and some chicken sausages. The chicken sausage is what brings me over the edge. It's delicious. So little mini quiches, you can mm -hmm. plan it out accordingly. Yep. Put them in muffin tins. Exactly. All the recipes are on my website at Risa Grew Nutrition. All right. Um, and so now this is the Newport Beach cleanse. So and this what, is, is it, what is the Newport Beach cleanse? I'm glad you asked. Uh -huh. It is a cleanse that I developed. It's a 14-day whole food cleanse, and the whole point is to eliminate the toxins and increase the good gut health. So this is all anti-inflammatory food, and it is two shakes a day. Today I brought the red lentil and zucchini chili, which you can absolutely have on the cleanse. The whole point is high fiber, because fiber is what is going to take all the toxins out of the system. Toxin, is it high in probiotics? because you're saying a gut check. Yes, we have some good, natural, healthy probiotics in there. That's a shake you get twice a day. Unlimited vegetables, a little bit of animal protein. So this is a little bit more plant-based. You do get some quinoa, some lentils, some garbanzo beans, avocados, brown rice, sweet potato. So people who get like, you know, sh get a little low and need a little carbs, can this is a great option. Perfect fit for them or somebody who's a little bit more inclined to eat more vegetables than animal protein. Okay. Super filling, again, great for blood sugar stabilization, joint pain, all of that stuff. All right, the next one is something that I am on. Yes, you are a big fan of the ketogenic diet, and this is a really high fat diet. So this is about 75% fat, 20% uh, protein, animal protein, and 5% carbohydrates. So all your vegetables are going to be your lower carbohydrate vegetables. So you What can, are lower carbohydrate vegetables? So um, uh, broccoli, your, broccoli uh, zucchini, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, um, cucumbers, lettuce, all of those things. So I've made some olive top and odd, okay. super easy. Again, recipes on my website at Risa Grew Nutrition. And you can make one very easily. You just This is just chopped olives with some um, garlic, well, fresh what, garlic. What people get nervous about with the keto diet, and I have to say, these are low in fat, like keto is high in fat. People are like, I don't want to eat fat because I'm going to gain right. weight. So what happens to your body when you go into ketosis? So, exactly. So the keto diet is basically a switch. It transfers mm -hmm. your source of fuel from a carbohydrate or a sugar to a fat. So your main source of fuel is from fat. That's and it, why. So and it burns it efficiently. Exactly. And you will lose weight. Uh -huh. It's very effective. This is all the rage for 2018. We're going to see a lot of keto products on the market and ketogenics. You're going to hear a lot about being in ketosis. And this could be interesting. It's good for diabetics too. Perfect. Sugar. Great for blood sugar. Really keeps you satiated. I always put a little dollop of dill or fennel on it, which is delish. Because you're a giver. I'm a giver. <laughs> and great for a party. Great for a snack. Good appetite. Anytime you can throw the topping on on a salad. And delicious. Okay, and the last one, what is this called? This is the autoimmune protocol, mm -hmm. also known as AIP. This is for anybody who has an autoimmune disease. Meaning? So it's Hashimoto's, it's Lyme's disease, fibromyalgia, um, rheumatoid arthritis. Parkinson's? Parkinson's, My exactly. Dad has Parkinson's. Perfect diet for him. So this is very similar to a paleo, but it has a little bit more restrictions. So you do have your animal protein, lots of vegetables, but you have no beans, no nuts, no seeds, no eggs, different than wow. the paleo. And in addition to that, there are absolutely no nightshades on an autoimmune protocol. What, what was that? Nightshades are your tomatoes, your potatoes, your eggplant, and any kind of pepper other than black pepper. So your jalapeno pepper, chipotle pepper, things like that are not permitted. And this I, is very restrictive then. Very restrictive, but I can tell you that I see tremendous results for people that I work with in my office. Anybody with an autoimmune protocol, this is the, the way to go. So what's in this? And this is one of my favorites. I love this. This is a spaghetti squash okay. with pesto. Oh, pesto. Pe super easy and to pine make. pine nuts. Pine nuts okay? I make it without the pine nuts for autoimmune, and then I just put some grilled shrimp on it. 
So delicious, right? That is delicious. One of my very favorite meals of all times. All right, so all of these, it's very confusing, and you have to know it's sort of like eat right for your body type exactly. and your blood type. So go online, check these out at foxla.com. Lisa, fabulous ideas. I mean, delicious yes. options. All recipes are on my website at Risa Grew Nutrition or um, Newport Beach Cleanse. And follow me on Instagram at Risa Grew Nutrition, and you'll see all this food. And it's not an exact science. you got to sort of test them all out. One, everybody, there's not one size fits all. So you have to find which diet works best for you. But they're all effective for blood sugar stabilizing and all effective for weight loss and booster energy. All right, I feel like I have pesto in my teeth. Um, Tony, you need to take it away because I'm going to okay. eat some more. All right, I got your Delicious. back right here. All right.